Now in order to see whether the sensor will be the future of road bike group sets, or even be around in the future, we must first see its past. Sensor was founded in 2014 by a group of people with more than 10 years of working experience in the bicycle industry and shared great passion for the sports of cycling. They also sponsored Mimeo Cycling Team, which I'm pretty sure has closed down. Now from a source that I found, it stated that there was a SRAM factory in Guangzhou, which closed as it was going to be replaced by a factory in Kunshan, about 1,500 kilometers away. This left knowledgeable and talented ex-SRAM employees in Guangzhou from this emerged L2, Sensor, and S-Ride. Now cut back to present day 2021, and Sensor is steadily growing in popularity. Even with large setbacks like the left shifter failing, they've been able to bounce back. As we all know, electronic shifting is on the rise and is here to stay. A good way to tell how well a company is doing is to see how well they are adapting. In this case, it's electronic shifting. Now from the sensor shifter and derailleur designs and functions, we can see that they are very SRAM-like. This is down to the designers of these being ex-SRAM employees, or so it is theorized. So in that case, sensor could just copy SRAM again for electronic shifting, right? Wrong. Why? Because of patterns. Check this out. Patterns, patterns, patterns everywhere. Now, what does a pattern do? It prevents your competitors from stealing the idea. Sounds fair, right? Well, take for example, Samsung. In 2020, Samsung filed for 6,415 patterns. Now imagine you're a relatively small and rising company, for example, Poco. And you come up with a genius idea that will revolutionize how smartphones function. Oh, but guess what? It has already been patented by Samsung. Samsung doesn't even have to put those patterns into production. Because they have a massive budget, they can just create patterns after patterns to school smaller brands. Similar things are happening for Shimano and SRAM. It's a pattern war. Shimano patterns electronic brakes, SRAM patterns wireless shifting, and poor sensor gets caught up in it. Now in terms of wireless Chinese shifting, I've only heard of one brand that has taken the leap, and that is Wheeltop which I have never heard of in my life. Now from what I know, they currently only have mountain bike shifters and derailleurs. Coupled with the fact that electronic shifting takes a long time to develop and fine tune, I think we'll have to wait a couple years for this to be polished. But this does give me hope that Sensor and other road bike group sets will take the leap of faith and jump into electronic shifting. But let's be realistic here. I highly doubt that Sensor will be able to rival the likes of Shimano or SRAM for years and even decades. But if they are able to bring electronic shifting to the mainstream public at a fraction of a price, they will be in the hot seat. But speaking of price, how cheap can we expect Sensor electronic shifting to be? Now for a base comparison, let's use Shimano Duro Ace R9100. Now if you're wondering why I didn't use Ultegra R8000, it's because electronic shifting usually makes its debut on the highest tier group set. In this case, Sensor Empire Pro. Now for the pair of shifters and derailleurs, it comes in at 817 US dollars. Now for the Dura Ace 9150 Di2, it costs 1427 US dollars. So it's about 74% more expensive. Pretty drastic change, isn't it? Now let's compare this to the new SRAM Rival ETAP to see if the difference in the prices is just as high. The SRAM Rival Mechanical HRD group set costs 722 US dollars, and the ETAP version costs 1420 US dollars, which is 96% more expensive. So if we take the average cost gap between mechanical and electronic, we get 85%. So with Sensor Empire Pro costs 200 US dollars for the shifters and derailleurs, we are looking at 370 US dollars for the Sensor Electronic Shifting. Now obviously, this won't be the exact value and instead is just gonna be a rough estimation. But it's pretty cool to imagine what it could be. It's not gonna be easy, but in time, if Sensor ups their marketing and brings the challenge to Shimano and SRAM, by offering similar quality products but at a fraction of a cost, I believe 
that Sensor will definitely be up there in terms of World by group sets.